Welcome back to the eSIM Studios YouTube channel. If you have a OnePlus 15 or any OnePlus phone and you hate waiting for software updates, well, I've got a special app for you. So today we're basically gonna kill two birds with one stone. We're gonna do an app review and we're gonna update our OnePlus 15 to the latest version of Oxygen OS 16. That's right. So there is an app on the Google Play Store that I used to always use with my OnePlus phones. I got a notification uh, yesterday that there was a software update available. And I thought, well, great, I'll just update my phone. And I put a community post out stating, hey, there is a update available. And then somebody commented, well, you must have the global version because on the North American model of the OnePlus 15, there's no update available. And I thought, wasn't there an app that anybody with any variant OnePlus 15 can download and the app will check uh, for any available updates? Well, there is, and my dumbass <laughs> forgot completely about it until now. So I thought, well, why don't I just make a video showing you all what app to download and how to use it, right? So let me show you exactly what I am talking about. So this is Oxygen Updater. I'm gonna put a link for this down below in the description box. It'll be a link directly to this so you can download it on your OnePlus 15. Now I'm gonna modify the camera angle so we'll be directly looking at the phone. I just downloaded it on my phone. I'm gonna show you how to update. This will catch any available update that's available for your device and you can download it from the app and update it from the app. So many other Android phones, I wish this was available for, for Samsung phones. I wish this was available for Google Pixel phones. This will find the update and pull it to your phone. So let me go ahead and change some camera angles around and we'll get right to it. All right, so here it is, the Oxygen Updater app. You can download it, you can follow along. I'm gonna go ahead and open it and show you exactly what it looks like. Now, there are ads in there, but it is what it is. I don't know, there might be a paid version, but I've never used the paid version. Now, as soon as I opened it, there it shows me system update available now this is the update for the january security patch it is oxygen os 16.0.3.501 and it goes into detail as to far as the change log right now what i'm going to do is you can see here on the update tab there's an update so this will that's the tab that you can go and find your update. It'll pull the update if there is one available for your device. Down here on the other tabs, you can go into news. Yeah, these ads are really freaking annoying. You can go into news. So this has news on all One Pro, OnePlus products, phones, devices, uh, software. It lets you know updates are available, new devices that are that are uh, uh, released. Um, app updates as well this gives you device information right so this will give you information on your device this is the about guide uh, basically about the application and then this is the settings right obviously settings for the app and as you can see you can purchase the paid version without ads for $1.99 I haven't done it yet if they get too annoying, I will certainly do that, but I have not, and I've been using this for years. But let's go in to the update, right? So if you open this up again, it pops up right to the update. Now, let's say you open the app and it does not automatically find your update. Well, if this screen wasn't here, what you can do is it'll give you, it's very intuitive, it's, it's very easy. If this screen was not here, what it'll do is it'll have a search for updates tab and you just simply select that. It'll scour the OnePlus servers for updates and these are official OnePlus updates. These are not coming from XDA. These are not coming from some place in uh, God knows where. 
This is coming directly from OnePlus servers. So this is an official update for your device specifically. So it's not gonna pull something from, it's not gonna pull another model's update. It's gonna pull your update for your device. So once you do that, you can see down here, it'll say update, uh, excuse me, download update. We're simply gonna select that. Now, please enable all file access. So I will do that right here, oxygen updater, all file access. I'm gonna back out of it. Let's try it again and it downloads. Now, obviously depending on how fast your internet is will depend on how fast uh, your update downloads. So I'm gonna pause this. I'll be right back when it is 100% downloaded and we all, we will flash it. Okay, so after it downloads the update, it gives you these three options to install that update. So the first option is use the local install feature built into the operating system, right? So you'll go into settings, software update, then you'll hit the three dot menu, and then you'll select local install because it downloaded that file to your that update package to your phone. So you'll need to go and find it, select it, and hit install. Or option two, use OnePlus provided local update APKs. Use this method only if option one did not work and or does not apply. Now, there is option three. You can flash it in recovery, but who wants to do that, right? So... Typically, option one has always worked for me. I don't even think I've ever done uh, option two, but let's choose option number one. It is recommended. So we're going to select that. It tells you how to do it. So if you've not done this before, enable Android developer options. Everybody should do that on your device. So that's like the first thing I do when I get when I get a new phone. So it tells you how to enable developer options in your phone. Go to settings about device. Okay. So we're gonna to go to settings about device, then tap on the topmost item, either Oxygen OS or up to date. Tap the top right button and choose local install. If you don't see this, you haven't enabled Android developer options. In the screen that opens, so after you select a local install, ensure you can see your phone's name at the top. Okay, finally scroll down and select the OTA update zip you downloaded from the app's main screen and tap install and or extract. Okay, so we will do that. So we're going to go back. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go to system update, software update. And then what I'm going to do is local install right here. And then you're going to select the update zip. Here it is right here. And as you can see, local install Oxygen OS 1 plus 15 software version. Here it is 16.0.3.501. And then all you do is simply select install and it will install it for you. So you're manually selecting it, manually downloading it, manually, I guess, manually or, or automatically flashing it. Anyways, you're kind of going around um, the normal way you would check it. So you're basically forcing, uh, not forcing, but just manually selecting the update and manually updating your device. As you can tell, it's done installing. So we are gonna select restart now. It's verifying the package. Once it verifies, it'll restart and install. Or shall I say install and restart. Phone is rebooted. Now I do see, while this gets restarted, I do see on the application homepage for the Google Play Store, support for Oppo devices was also added. So if you do have an Oppo device, it'll also uh, update that those as well. Oppo and OnePlus, they're sister companies, right? And there you go. As you can tell, restarting. I'm going to give it a minute just to settle into the operating system. It is a brand new OS, a brand new update. So I'm going to let everything settle in for a second. And then we're going to go back into the settings into about device and just to verify that it is the new operating system. It looks like everything is settled in for the most part. 
So let's do this. I'm going to go in to... Yep, there we go. 1603.501 version is up to date. Let's go to release notes. So this, again, has the it integrates the January 2026 Android security patch and enhanced system security. You can now browse files in private safe by sliding the, sli the side slider. You can now search for files from folders in private safe. And you can now share files in private safe. Network connections improves this, the stability of network connections for a better user experience. And as you can see here, we are now on the Android security update, January 1, 2026. There's the software version, there's the baseband, kernel, hardware, Android, and then your security update. So I'm gonna link again this app down in the description box below. If you have any questions whatsoever, how to use it or uh, anything at all, please leave a, co a comment down below. I check them every day and don't forget i believe we're gonna do i'm gonna do a case giveaway for the oneplus 15 i have a few more cases to give away so if you have a oneplus 15 subscribe to the eSIM studios youtube channel you're not going to want to miss out plenty of videos like this and more i got more cases on the way more case reviews and some of those cases that i've already done reviews on we're going to do a giveaway so i think our next case giveaway I'm going to schedule it. To, it's probably too late for today. I'm going to schedule it for tomorrow, Saturday. So join us, join the live stream, and you have your chance to win cases for your OnePlus 15, uh, Amazon gift cards, cash apps, all sorts of stuff. So it pays to subscribe to the ECM Studios YouTube channel. I appreciate the time, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace out.